Whatever you do, don't pay attention to how many views this video has. <laughs> What's up everyone, it's July 21st and there's something important I wanna to talk to you about today, but before we do, how many of you saw that crazy video of the surfer almost getting eaten alive by the shark over the weekend? Wasn't that insane? And to make matters even crazier, I just read that it was a great white shark. If you haven't seen the video, I'm sure you can check it out anywhere on YouTube, but today um, I wanna talk about race in America, part two of our discussion. Um, and it's based off something that happened over the weekend. A black lady got pulled over because she made an illegal lane change and subsequently was pulled out of her vehicle. The situation escalated. She was later taken to jail where she was presumed dead a few days later. Um, the investigation is being investigated as a murder and we'll see what comes of it. But it's one of many incidents that happened over the past few months. And I definitely think it's something that needs to be talked about and something we're going to discuss here today. So um, it's kind of difficult for me to articulate and and it's gonna be like me navigating through a freaking minefield, but uh, I'll do the best I can and we'll see where we end up. Um, I think it's important to start um, by saying that I believe 98% of cops are good, but there's about 2%, which is a little more than 10,000 um, out of that 750,000 that I think don't do any good to society, cause more harm than good, abuse their position of power, and just plain and simply, or can't handle the stress of their job, plain and simply just aren't good cops. And on the other side, we have a sizable portion of the African American population that feels a reluctance or almost instinctual combativeness towards law enforcement, which is completely understandable considering the historical significance of their ancestors. I mean, just the idea of being locked up or put into chains, which is what handcuffs are, would cause more fear in them than maybe almost anyone else. On one hand, we have 2% of police officers that either abuse their position of power and or can't handle the stress of the job. And on the other hand, we have a sizable portion of the African American population that is maybe more likely to resist arrest, which is completely, which is maybe completely understandable why that's the case. But here's the kicker. What if that 2% of law enforcement now sees where the burden of proof lies in terms of what they can get away with with only a minimal amount of resistance? Basically what I'm saying is, what if we're headed for some sort of social movement type of earthquake that we can see coming, but we can't stop? <sighs> that was a really tough thing to kind of get out, but um, I hope it kind of makes sense in some weird messed up way. It makes a lot of sense to me and it's kind of really intelligent if you actually think about it. But um, thank you for watching the video and, uh, and I'll talk to you soon.